Hello, and welcome to the RCO's A to Z of the organ. Today's letter is R4, what else could it be? Royal College of Organists, your RCO. The college was the brainchild of Richard Limpus when he was organist of St Michael Cornhill in the City of London, and the college was formally established in March 1864. On that occasion, Limpus addressed his fellow organists, explaining that he wished to lay before the assembly a proposal to elevate and advance the professional status of organists. He went on to say, It will be readily admitted that as a body we do not hold the same position in the eyes of the world as the medical and legal professions. Yet, he said, mankind generally prefers music to either physic or law. How very true. The College of Organists set about raising the professional standing of the British organist through composition, competition, lectures and, from 1866, examinations. And soon thereafter, the familiar associateship and fellowship diplomas were established, bringing to potential candidates in equal measure joy and terror. At a meeting of the Privy Council held at Windsor Castle in November 1893, the College was granted a Royal Charter by Queen Victoria, and thus became the Royal College of Organists. What's more, in 1939, King George VI consented to become the College's patron, and we continue to enjoy the patronage of Her Majesty the Queen and the support of members of the Royal Family. Today, the Royal College of Organists remains dedicated to the promotion and advancement of organ playing and call directing. It also remains the only organisation in the UK with a Royal Charter to be dedicated to a single instrument, albeit now in many guises, and those who play it. Those who play it. Therein lies our raison d'etre. The RCO exists to support organists and not just the elite superstar performers. It is inclusive and is ready to support organists at every age and stage, or as we like to say, it is the first stop for every organist. Ho, ho. If you are a member of the RCO, by the time you watch this short video, you will have received your New Look membership pack. Let me emphasise the pillars which underpin the RCO's core principles, principles which have enabled it to go from strength to strength since the trustees took the decision to embrace new technologies, become virtual well before COVID-19 made this a necessity, and develop its world-class online learning and information platform, IRCO. First, the RCO is a professional college. Look what's on offer. Internationally recognised qualifications, accredited teacher status, courses, classes and events, career development advice, practical support, new syllabuses offering a graded approach to acquiring important skills, mentoring and member benefits in collaboration with our partner organisations. Then the RCO is a resourceful college. We have an unparalleled body of resources for organists and call directors. We have actual library collections in London and Birmingham, and IRCO with its huge collection of digital content and stock press. RCO News and E-News, RCO Journal, the National Pipe Organ Register, which the RCO manages on behalf of the NPOR, containing details of over 31,000 organs. But I know you knew that already from our recent film, N is for NPOR. And the Early English Organ Project, two reconstructions of Tudor organs, which are available for residences. The RCO is also an accrediting college. You will be familiar with our gold standard diplomas, but have you explored the RCO Certificate of Accredited Membership, known as CAM, C-A-M, the Accredited Teacher Programme, the Institutional Accreditation Programme, and Affiliate Student Membership? Next, the RCO is a teaching college. We offer webinars and online tuition, online support content, introductions to accredited teachers, an enormous range of short courses, the summer course in London, the organ student experience usually held in Cambridge or Oxford colleges, and awards and bursaries to support students of all ages and abilities. Finally, and most importantly, the RCO is a members college. 
Members may nominate and vote for trustees, vote at the annual general meeting, attend the annual conferment of diplomas ceremony, nominate recipients for the RCO medal, our highest honour, choose to be included in the published directory of RCO members, access exclusive discounts, use the RCO's membership logo on their personal stationery. Combine all of that with recent exciting events and developments, the nine organ extravaganza in Westminster Cathedral in November 2019, the composition competition, organ week in 2021, RCO Choral Day, RCO Children's Day, pedals, pipes and pizza, and hashtag inspiring organists, International Organ Day on the 24th of April 2021, a new and exciting collaboration with the American Guild of Organists, the development of many corporate and creative partnerships, the RCO Foundation and the Friends of the RCO. And I think you will agree that your college has a lot to offer. When Richard Limpus developed his vision in the 1860s, he had no idea how successful the College of Organists would become. We remain committed to keeping the organ and organists at the centre of communities across the UK and across the world. Do look out for the next video in the A to Z series, S is for Sanson, and what could be more appropriate, for it was Sanson who was the first overseas player to be awarded honorary fellowship in 1871. No doubt that honour, unique at the time, is what inspired him to write the organ symphony 15 years later. I thank you for your support, enthusiasm, dedication and energy. And if you are not already a member, why not join the Royal College of Organists today? Thank you for watching. Goodbye.